Hi everyone, you know how Zach says it doesn't kill you to like something? Well, this is kind of a it doesn't kill you to like something video, but it is kind of killing me. So, Kaon, I got this from one of my random manga from Loot Anime because I'm the worst Loot Anime advertiser on planet Earth. I get it, and I don't know why I get it, and I give away most of it as fast as I can. But anyway, so Kaon, the only... I. I saw a few memes of this when this was starting to be popular uh, from AMV Hell and Top 10 Anime About Girls Becoming Pop Stars That Are Better Than k -On videos. So I didn't come in with very high expectations and, you know, I was kind of roasting it in my head the whole, as I was starting to read it, because all the characters seemed very generic and cookie cutter versions of themselves. So we got Protagonist Chan. Uh, tall, Dark, and Mysterious Chan, Totally Not Haruhi Suzumiya Chan, and Eyebrows Chan. And I remember a few years ago when this, when I, when I saw art of this going around, I looked at that and I thought, oh, that's cute. Hey, I could draw my own one of my own characters with thick eyebrows. And then I started drawing like cute girls with big bushy eyebrows because of her. So uh, Teacher Chan, Best Friend Who Doesn't Get Enough Screen Time Chan, and Little Sister Chan. But... Uh, over time, I did start to understand them as characters and started to see... still They're still very generic characters, but there's more complexity to them than just being a cookie cutter or a pretty face. They act, they, they have some comedic traits that let the, the comedy work. Uh, I didn't like this figure drawing. She's actually supposed to be tall, you find out later in the manga, and this is a very, this is a very stubby, proportioned person, even for a young girl, if they're saying that she's supposed to be noticeably... N noticeably tall for her age. I think it's the I think it's the large size of her head. It's making her look younger. I think they're supposed to be the equivalent of freshmen in the American high school system. I don't quite get the Japanese school system yet. So I guess I uh, well, how would I describe the art? Very generic manga art, but hand drawn and not Google SketchUp. So it actually looks nice, even though it's very simple. Lots of faces, lots of reaction shots, lots of simple kind of like motion lines or action boxes or windows. But And when they do show a scene, you know, it's like a simple little floor and wall. But they actually make it work and they do a lot of variety with that simple setup. And this is what I think is called a four coma, meaning that the majority of it are four panel strips. And it's only a few color pages that have the traditional comic book manga format. And they actually didn't do a very good job communicating that to me as I was reading. So you get here and then you're supposed to read this way because now we're starting to read the four panel strips. And then I turned the page and I had to figure out from the context of the pictures what's what, that you're actually supposed to read it. One, two, three, four, like that. Then one, two, three, four. And I like four panel comic strips in America. These were fun. Each, Most of them are pretty funny. Not all of them are funny, but they're written with the intention that you could read this all by itself, maybe as a web comic or something, and it could stand, stand on its own and be pretty funny. But then they also work together to tell a bigger story. And uh, the, the basic premise of it is pretty clever. There's a high school club, and in Japan, Student clubs are a big deal because it's one of your few chances to socialize with people your age. And they're about to shut down the pop club, which is what k means. It's a pun on pop music. And so they need a fourth student. And they, they just grab the, fourth, the first person they can find to be their fourth member. And it's protagonist Chan, Yui. Yui has never played an instrument in her life, but she wants to play an instrument. So she gets in on the basis that they need a fourth member to keep the club alive. Uh, most of the humor from that point on is kind of, you know, cute young ladies doing cute things and teasing each other and practicing and being lazy and failing tests. It, slice of life that... that uh, but but saying something slice of life is a little generic. It's sort of like cute. The the appeal of it is watching cute girls kind of do cute, simple da daily life types of types of activities. Uh, what I liked is that as you get about like a quarter of a way into it, then they start introducing what the twist is on each character's quirk. So you is the protagonist. She's learn she's learning how to play an instrument for the first time the thing about her is that she does nothing by half she's either completely lazy and not studying at all while practicing her guitar or she's whole hog 
acing the test and getting 100% on it. So she, she runs hot or cold. Mio is introduced as kind of a serious, mature type, but you find out that she easily gets embarrassed and she's terrified of anyone hearing her voice or uh, any like being the center of attention. And they build this up over time towards like a, a comedic climax. Ritsu, is, I, I call her not Haruhi Suzumiya because Haruhi, if you don't know her, Haruhi Suzumiya is kind of this very famous anime character who has a very kind of, what would I call it? Not a battle axe personality, but cheer, cheerful, but also pushy, get, gets her way. So Ritsu, even in her hair design, has a little bit of that feel to her. And Sumugi is supposed to be a rich girl, and she sort of has an angelic and polite attitude. But you actually find out over time that uh, she has a bit of a dirty mind, and she infers sexual humor in, in innocent situations, and she ships her uh, the other members of her team. So her innocence is kind of a superficial characteristic that subtly over time you figure out that she there's this different aspect to her personality. Uh, what am I thinking? Uh, I'm not saying that we should have dropped a nuclear warhead on Japan. All I'm saying is that two happens to be the average number of atomic warheads we dropped on Japan and the average number of faces that manga artists can draw. So maybe we should have tried to bring that number up to three. <laughs> I'm a terrible person. But, 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 but anyway, yeah, this suffers very much from not even two-face syndrome, but one face syndrome. And here's the other thing. So most of it is kind of G-rated, cutesy, high school girl humor. And then occasionally they will have sort of these cheesecakey shots that are meant to be, I wouldn't call this pornographic. I would call this like teasing, teasing boys who, who like manga and using this as a way of maybe encouraging boys to part with their money for these manga. And the thing is, these are supposed to be like freshman age kids and I don't know. I don't like seeing that in a book that's generally, apart from that, a G-rated context. But there's actually an interesting moment in this book where there's some crude humor, but the crude hum humor really works character-wise, and it's not what I'd consider over-the-top, kind of in-your-face, in-your-face fan service. I'm not going to show it, probably just to keep this sanitized. But So Mio, the, the point of her character is that she's kind of mature and... Uh, standoffish and calm, but then you find out that she's easily flustered and easily embarrassed. And this builds toward her having to sing at one of their gigs. And then their teacher, who's kind of a, she, her te their teacher gives off the impression of just being a sweet and kind teacher, but then behind the scenes, she's, at, she's kind of intense and uh, likes to likes to convince the girls to dress up in silly outfits. So she convinces them to dress up as maids. And then Mio trips at the end of the show and everyone in school sees her panties because it's a manga but it's funny because the whole it, it, we spend all this time building up that Mio is easily embarrassed and then the most embarrassing thing in the world happens to her uh it's one panel and then there's maybe like a few shots of them in bikinis so if if it didn't have that this would actually be like a manga I could recommend to younger boys and girls, but I can't because I, I knew when I saw older teen on the back, I just kept waiting for the hat to drop that something, something's going to happen, something sexual, something violent. I don't know if it's going to be a head on a desk or if it's going to be a panty shot, but I know that there's going to be some mature humor, but that actually was, I, I've talked in the past about fan service that I don't like fan service. If it breaks you out of the world of the story, or if it's, treating characters who I should be following and empathizing with as nothing more than little sexual selling points that like buy this to look at, you know, girls in their underwear. I don't want to do that. I want to, I want to read a story, but the, just what was interesting to me was that here's actually an example of someone using like an underwear joke in a way that I thought was act genuinely hilarious and was well set up. Uh, all right. So the limited number of faces, the, uh, but, but still variety and different types of expression, uh, personality-based humor. Uh, I like that the little sister is uh, Rio, Yui's younger sister, but she's actually the more mature one and is ridiculously polite. I don't know, it charmed me. I was, I was expecting to roast it, and then over time, as I read more and more, I got more and more into it. Okay, there's the teacher being ridiculous and showing off her crazy 
rock and roll side. Uh, the pl there's not much plot to speak of. The the whole every four panel comic is essentially a standalone gag on the basis that the kids waste a lot of time and are kind of goofballs. And it ends with them doing a show and Yui kind of coming into her own as a decent guitarist. Uh, there is a guest artist later on, and uh, I love the notes. The translation notes at the back of this are great. They they explained almost every question that I had. And I might just skip ahead to that. So I've already said that, you know, unfortunately I can't recommend this to kids, even though like 90% of it is really, really sweet, really innocent types of humor. Then there's that 10% of crass humor. So I don't know if you're a parent, then judge your kid and how well they can uh, process that or if they're mature enough to handle that, I don't know. You're, that's your call as a parent. That's not my call. So just just be forewarned. Uh, there are charming little comedic illustrations in. Oh, there's one of the lewd, lewd, so lewd. But there there are charming little uh, drawings like this too at the end of chapters that are just kind of like a two page gag, and uh, you flip it and then you see the you, you see the. Uh, Punchline, I'm a bagworm. I give up, I give up. You see, so she, she's hugging her and her... It's not like it, it's not like the best, like, I don't know. It's not like comedic genius, but it's cutesy humor based on observing teenage girls being pals with each other and building up a rapport. And here's the guest artist by Daioki. So not, not quite as cutesy a style, a little bit more of an angular style. Uh... His afterword. Was there something interesting in his afterword? He talks about how it was his first manga. He talks about his love of guitars and him being a left-handed guitarist, uh, which is the reason I think Mio is a lefty. Uh, and th and thanks to the people who helped him make this book. Nice guy. Nice. You're a nice guy, Cacafly. I like that. And then there's some little bonus pages at the end. There we go again. See, so Mio is easily embarrassed, and you can see just like a, the top little part of her panties and then she gets really irritated and threat threatens uh not haruhi suzumiya chan to destroy the negatives but they're digital uh okay these guys this was really interesting this explained all of the uh translational things and the cultural things i wasn't getting things like uh japan having uh Blank, so, blank is so easy. A monkey could do it. Books instead of for dummies. Books. This was really fascinating because I love learning about the culture of Japan. I love uh, learning about all these things I never would have known about and the expressions and the idioms. So this is kind of the educational aspect of manga, where you're actually learning something about a different country and a different you know cultural history. So uh, this reminds me. I think this is the same press that did. Uh, Subasa Reservoir Chronicle, they always seem to have like detailed notes on their translation choices, and that makes them some of the most educational manga to get if you are interested in that kind of, if you're like a teacher or a parent who's interested in that aspect of learn about another culture by reading reading these comics. Uh, that is, oh man, I thought I saw some nice things in here. I'll tell you what, I'll, I'll look at this more carefully, and if I find anything more by the artist I really like, then I might Re revisit this and talk about it some more. For now, all, all I'm going to say is just, I ki I don't warmly recommend it. It ended up charming me. I recommend it if you have a high tolerance for cheese and if you, if you don't mind, like, it, I don't think they were gratuitous, but there are a few shots of these girls in uh, so, somewhat risque positions where I think they were trying to target, like, the teenage boy audience. So, Apart from that, I, I do feel like these were real characters with real personality and that most of the humor came from their different personalities bouncing off one, each other, one, one another. So I don't know if I could read like a stack of books of this, but it was charming enough to keep me hooked for a whole book, even though the plot of the book is essentially they form the band, they goof around, they put on, they put on a show on the end. All right. I'm a weeb. I admit it. I've already been assimilated by the weeb guy. Ah! And they're already fan. One help me guys, help me, save me from all this.